love doing this. Mm. Mm. Hey, that tickles. I know it does. Mm. Oh, you want that? Mm. 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 What? What? Mm. 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 Ahoy there, Miggies! Sometimes words can drown out everything. Oh, good, you're home. Uh, whatever it is, we don't want any. Okay? Yeah, I'm sorry for interrupting, but Manning, we yeah. really need to talk. Who is this guy? Sweetheart, meet Rob Stemkowski, attorney at law, and meet my fiancé, Bill Brady. Ah, the infamous kidnappee. <laughs> State your business, Stemkowski. We're kind of busy down here, okay? Oh, okay. In that case, I'll get to the point. Manning, I've been checking up on you, or should I say, trying to. And frankly, I don't know how the hell you ever sold yourself to University Hospital. As far as I can tell, everything in your personnel file is a lie. All right, buddy, get out, no, before I throw hey, you out. No, 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 no. He just called you a liar. Huh? No, he didn't. He said her file was a lie. There's a difference? Well, if you'd chill out and listen for a minute, maybe you'd understand. Okay, Rob, what are you talking about? What happened? I sent a fax to the Sorbonne in Paris to request your college records, and according to them, nobody by the name of Carly Manning ever attended school there. Oh, there must be some kind of mistake. Okay, I know what the problem is. Oh, well, please, enlighten me. <clears throat> I wasn't using that name when I went to the Sorbonne. Uh, am, I, am I missing something here? Uh, uh, Carly had to use a few different names in her past. A few? A few? Well, I've been called Bob, Robert, even Bobby upon occasion, much to my dismay, but an entirely new name and more than one? Well, tell me, are, are you part of some witness protection program or something? I have my reasons, okay? Yeah, sure. Fine. Uh, in that case, I'm going to need you to fill out a form. One for each different name you use. Let's see, uh, six of them be enough? Fine, fine. We'll get them to you as soon as we can. When do you great. need them? Yesterday would have been great. Fine, we'll get them to you. Well, I guess that's all I can do. Okay. Thank you. Sure, no problem. Oh, and uh, Brady, I really hope this uh, first little fight won't be our last. These will only take me all day to fill out. I guess I can cancel my plans with Jennifer this afternoon. No, not necessarily, Princess. Well, I, I, you heard him. I mean, I'm holding up his defense as it is, and if I don't do these today, then I'm letting everybody down. Okay, what you do is you go have a good time with Jennifer this afternoon. Don't worry about the forms. We'll get done. Yeah, I'll still be here when I get back. Yeah. Okay. Okay. that you two haven't come up for air since he got back? Yeah, well, yeah, just to eat. <laughs> I won't believe you. What? I'm so happy for you, though, both of you. Yeah, I'm pretty happy myself. Well, you're glowing. You look like you're the one having a baby. <laughs> Speaking of which, I assume you told your dad the great news. Well, you know what? I think the world's greatest grandpa t-shirt sort of oh gave it away. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> what about Jack? How did he survive without shoes? Is he still doing that morning sickness thing? Well, I... You know, I only saw him for a few minutes earlier, and um, he was acting kind of strange. I don't know, I think it's this whole money thing that's really got him down, though. You know? So I probably shouldn't tell him about all the money my father gave me that I should use for the baby. <laughs> you know? Oh, Carly, look at all that baby stuff. Come on, let's go spend that money before Jack finds out I have it. Carly, come on. I'm right behind you. Vivian, I would love for you to meet my best friend, Jennifer Devereaux. Jennifer, this is Vivian Alamein. Uh, yes, we met at the masquerade benefit. Of course. Okay, years of attendance, 85 to... Good enough.
Excuse me, um, we really have to go. It was nice seeing you again, Miss Alamy. Oh, pleasure was all mine. Excuse me. I'll be in touch. Yes, I'd love to see you again soon. Nice seeing you both. Well, I see you haven't lost your touch with the ladies. Vivian, I went to jail because of that holier-than-thou Jennifer Horton. And as for Katerina, well, you know how that turned out. Yes, and I know how it'll be if you try to start up a relationship again. Well, we can't talk about that now because there's a jealous fiancé on the loose. Oh, good. More free entertainment. If I stay in this town long enough, I can sell my television set. What the hell are you up to, Alamein? Well, there's no law against innocently running into your girlfriend, is there? There's not an innocent bone in your body, and unless you want every one of them broken, you will leave Carly alone. You'd push my wheelchair for me, wouldn't you, Vivian? <sighs> Why don't you meet me at the car? Excuse me. Excuse me. Aren't you Bo Brady, Carly's fiancé? Yes. And you are? I'm Vivian Alamein, Lawrence's aunt. And I saw your courage the other night at my party. The way you handled that repulsive person, Torres, well, it was magnificent. Simply magnificent. Thanks. I'm uh, sorry that your party ended so soon. Oh, don't be sorry. It ended with a bang, as you would say in America. But your reunion with Carly. I, I, I can't remember when I've been so moved. One rarely sees that kind of passion that you two seem to share. Am I embarrassing you? Oh, good. Then I'll go on and make my point. You see, I think that you and Carly have found soulmates in each other. It's very lovely to meet you, Miss Brady. Excuse me. You're overreacting, Lawrence. Well, just what the hell did you have to say to Bo Brady? I was trying to defuse the situation. I didn't want to see your picture plastered all over the scandal sheets in this town. In my circles, when you get into a street brawl, it's not socially acceptable. And in my circles, it's not socially acceptable to meddle in another's personal life. You know what I was doing. I always know what you're doing. I don't always like it. Do I make myself clear? Of course, darling. Good. Princess, Hi. Let me help you with that. Oh, thanks. Yeah. Oh. I'm sorry. I guess I'm a little tired. Oh. Mm. Is that it, or is um something or someone bothering you? No, I'm fine. Carly, listen. I saw. Alamein bothering you and Jennifer. Is he upsetting you? No, no, he's not. Well, I met his aunt, by the way. Oh, you did? Yeah. What did you think of her? Well, I'll give her this lady's got nerve. She actually told Larry to butt out of our lot. <laughs> hey, well, that's Vivian for you. She's a little outspoken. Yeah, I just can't figure out why she was sticking up for me. Well, that, that's because uh, Vivian and I are actually quite close. She knows that you're very good for me, and she's just trying to protect us. Wait a second, she's closer to you than she is to her own nephew? I, no, no, I, I, what I'm trying to tell you is that she and I have a very special bond. Can you understand that? Sure. Um, uh, she seemed like a nice enough lady. Yeah, she is. Yeah. I guess you made a pretty good impression on her, too, huh? Actually, the only person I really want to make an impression on this evening is you. Oh, yeah? Where'd you have in mind? Oh, I thought maybe we would start off where we left off when that guy, what's his name, interrupted us. Oh, the forms. Oh. Don't worry about the forms. I really don't want any distractions this evening. Oh, really? Yeah. Well, have you have you cleared this with Sean Douglas? Yes, as a matter of fact, I have. He humbly suggested that he spend the night at Mom and Pop's. Oh. 
You're just getting smarter and smarter every day. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, yeah, just like his pop. And you? <laughs> 